everyone. Buddy and Stephanie here from Dimmon Homestead. So I just got done my hair. <laughs> I know, I need to, I need to. It's okay. It's rough. My, uh, what was I saying? My hair, your not hair. my hair. The bees. Let's talk about your hair. <laughs> no, the bees. Um, Sorry. I just got finished pulling all of Pops's hives off of the fence by Jake's house, moving them over back to where Pops had them rebuilding the hives as best I can. You gotta understand though, I don't know what frames went with what, I don't know what deeps went with what. Some of the stuff, some of the deeps and the mediums that he had, he had bolted together, so they stayed together. So I knew those went together, but everything else I just pieced together to try and get it out of the way because everyone's trying to clean up out there and there's just swarms of bees flying. So I figured I'm gonna start with that. Um, after seeing how many bees survived, Realized that I should probably come down here and check on mine real quick. See if we can, I don't know, just see see what's going on with ours. Um, so that's the plan right now. But Pops's beehives are off the fence. They're rebuilt back where they were. Um, the main thing was to get them away from Jake's so that yeah. everyone can get in over there. And, and it's still going to be a little bit. With yeah. bees, they just kind of stay in the area until they realize they got to go somewhere else. So. Right or smell their queen right. and if their queen's dead it's going to be a yeah it'll be an issue but hives can be requeened but we need to see how many will actually come back over to their hive right so starting with that i felt like gave us a good starting point to try and give them the bees the most amount of time really to clear up before we move to the fence to start picking up the fence line um everyone's pulling furniture out of houses right now so we're going to get our we're going to rebuild or pick up all of our beehives see what's left uh, and then head back up there and continue with the um, with the cleaning process. So let's do that. Yeah. I see very little activity. Not anything like Pops' hives with the bees swarming all around it. There are some bees, but I mean, very, very little activity. Yeah, the stand is there. Might want to think about making the stand a tad bit higher, yeah. but there's not a lot of activity, not near as much activity as there was around Pops' hives. So, I don't know. Let's get in there and see what we can find. You see they're going back in? Yeah. Makes me so sad. Nothing in this hive at all. This hive, it uh, eh, very little of the bees remaining. Not sure about the queen or anything, but they're trying to like go back in and try and figure out what's going on. It's very sad, but. They're back up here. What are you gonna do? What can you do? We left that box off. There's nothing in it. Okay. Well, let's unsuit. Head up there. All right. All right, I'm in Pops' tractor. On our way back up there. I'm trying to get Bree's babies. <clears throat> I've gotten all but four. All but four Bree's babies. So I can get them back home. Get them back in their good spot. All right, let's, oh wait, five. All but five, dang, thought I was down to four. Okay, all the chickens, whew. We got them all, they've made a mess in their little, I mean, they haven't been in that. I just put their food and water in there so they could go into somewhere comfortable if they wanted to overnight. But they have made a mess out of it. So let's bring them back to, bring them back to Bree so they can be reunited at last. So believe it or not, 
Amazon <laughs> just delivered packages. Like, they, they, the guy pulls up and he says, I'm trying to get up the driveway. And we were like, well, it's flooded. You can't go up the driveway. He says, well, I got these packages. And I was like, okay, well, that's my family. I'll take them all up there to them. And uh, he had he had to call his supervisor and Steph had to sign something. But <laughs> it's just crazy to me that Amazon's out delivering right now. Um, but they are. So I'm going to bring the packages up there with the baby chickens. <sighs> Amazon, something else. Also, <clears throat> Lester and Jamie just sh showed up with lots of chicken. And oh my gosh, was it needed because I was up there working. Well, I mean, I, I spent the first part of my morning at, at Jake's and then I moved over to GM Pops to see what I can do there. But man, I started like feeling it, getting lightheaded, getting shaky. And I realized I hadn't eaten anything. So I was gonna take Alora because Alora was helping clean up too this morning. I was gonna take her and we were just gonna go back to the house and get something to eat. And then we passed Lester and Jamie and they got this giant bucket of fried chicken. Oh my gosh. If that wasn't one of the best sights I've seen in a long time, a giant bucket of Brookshire Brothers fried chicken. <laughs> so needed. Just a quick check-in. Jake and Lissus. So, got the floors and the walls all ripped up. Last wall. Last wall. Okay, five o'clock update, <clears throat> five o'clock in the afternoon. It's five o'clock somewhere, it's five o'clock right here. And what we're having <laughs> is uh, bleach and pumpers. It's a new kind of new mixed drink, bleach and pumpers. No, but I know I haven't really been able to record a lot of it, Steph has gotten some um but uh we've completed the gutting of the part for uh jake and uh, Alyssa's house that needs to be gutted steph is on a hunt up there looking for more bleach because i all we had was half a bottle but now we're going to start bleaching um any space that got wet <clears throat> so anything that got wet um just a you know kill kill off all the bad stuff we don't want mold growing things like that so we got two fans inside there pumping to help dry and then we're going to do some bleach spray uh you can drive down the driveway now i unfortunately and i felt really really bad um the sanctuary driveway got real rough started getting really rough and the water was still really high over here so Lester said he was going to start bringing some gravel up and fill in the ruts, and, and he did. And I took the forerunner and thought it was going to be okay and got stuck and made it worse. Um, Uriel pulled me out, and I went down the driveway, which I should have done in the first place. I don't even know why I tried going down there, but I, uh, yeah. You can get down the driveway now. That's the way I'm taking, but um, that's where we're at. Uh, I did go over to GM Pops. I started taking out some walls. Um, Bennett took over for me there so I could go f try and help finish up over at uh, Jake's. Um, and then I'll be back over at, at uh, GM Pops here after we get this bleach soaking in and everything drying. Because that, at that point, Jake and Lissa's is at a uh, kind of a standstill till it dries up. We can go and see what needs to be done at Paw Paw and Gigi's. All right. 
Okay, it is almost eight o'clock, and on what Saturday, day is today? Saturday, Saturday, fourth. Yeah, you know what is actually we didn't really talk about what is kind of sad about today. <laughs> it's Caden's fifteenth birthday today. God, I feel so bad about that. Caden's fifteenth so birthday. <clears throat> before before we knew about the um storm that was coming and the first flooding event that we had earlier in the week or not you know like the first high water event when the river came up um me and steph were sitting down planning like a birthday video for Caden. slideshow all of his pictures a good song for and him how fast everything changes now it's Caden's birthday and we're just knee deep in cleanup after a flood of it yeah I, i've seen Caden all of 10 minutes today i gave him a hug i said happy birthday son i love you so much i am yeah. so sorry that we I wanted today, I wanted to take him shoe shopping. He wanted new shoes. I haven't been able to do it. Yeah. God, I mean, he, he understands. He's not like... No, yeah, he, he pity party it. or anything. But I, for a mom, you know, I feel guilty that he, you know... Yeah, he didn't want us to feel bad about uh, at all that it was his birthday. But. Yeah, he's like, it's okay. And I was like... <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Other than that... Um, happy birthday, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. We love you. Yes. We will celebrate him. I told yes, him, I said, we will. give us a little bit. We're going to make a day all for you. Yeah. And yeah. so we'll we will celebrate yeah. Caden for sure. Yeah. Um, but it has been a long day, an eventful day. Um, lots of cleanup in lots of different places. One of the things that we actually just got back from was the sanctuary where Jamie and Lester were moving hay out of the barn because the hay that got wet was like burning up hot yeah so you want me to hold this sorry am i shaking off yeah. the hay was uh they got wet it was super hot because it's like compost almost it just creates heat um now <clears throat> that's what that's what uh daniel and Bree and lou are doing right now is moving hay because it's something you don't want to think about. The hay gets hot and it just starts building up heat. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it, it a lot has gotten done today, and everyone pitched in. It, it was just, you know, we spent I think the majority of the time with Jake and Lissa, um, trying to get them situated because everyone kind of had like groups of working on different projects at the same exact time, and too many people, then you kind of get in the way. So me and Steph felt most useful with Jake uh, and Lissa over there getting their house, you know, gutted and cleaned up. Yeah. Um, but I did go around to all the places and just do what I could, whatever needed to be done. But it's been a long day and we need, we need showers. I need a shower and I need my bed and that's... I smell like wet alfalfa and it'll never come off of me, I think. <laughs> Stop. It's the, it's the worst smell. Jamie said it smells like Osh alpaca. or alpaca spit. Yeah, like, <laughs> bleh. It's it made me gag, and I and once I start gagging, it's hard for me to stop. I just I'm looking at our I'm looking at down at our patio, and I know that we have got yeah, there's poop everywhere. Any solid surface that wasn't <laughs> dirt or grass because of the water had animals on it, so yeah. it got pooped on. My mom's porch. Ooh, 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 ooh. She spent a long time cleaning that this morning. It was rough. Yeah. Well, also we kept um, Bree's dogs, and mm -hmm. I think their nerves got to them, so they started to have an upset yeah. stomach in the house. Yeah. So. Poop everywhere. Don't talk about the barn. I... Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much. I know that your prayers have been with us, and... Um, we are so blessed uh, just to have the support of everyone that Absolutely. is praying for us and just, you know, keeping us in their thoughts and everything. So, again, yeah. thank you. And uh, I hate to say it, but we're getting rain again. All day tomorrow. And some tonight. A little bit tonight, all day tomorrow. 
We don't know what's to come. Nothing bad's gonna happen. We'll be fine. Right. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right. Love you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.